Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering applications of DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide a link in description you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, in many fields, we will use DBMS. Let us see some of the applications where DBMS is used. First one is Railway Reservation System. In Railway Reservation System, database plays very important role. For example, I went to railway station and I purchased a ticket to Vijayawada. Now my information is stored in railway database. Like, like what type of ticket I purchased, at what time I purchased and what is cost and my name, everything is stored in railway database. Not only ticket booking information, but also this railway reservation system database stores various information regarding trains. Like what are the trains available at present, at what time train will arrive and at what time train will start and also it gives information regarding late trains. All this information is stored in railway database. And second application is library management system. Normally libraries contains thousands of books. Library database will store various information regarding books. Like what types of books available in library and name of the book author, how many books issued to customers, customers who will visit to libraries daily. All this information is stored in database. And third application is banking. We use database in banks. Daily in banks there will be thousands of transactions like how many people withdraws money, how many people deposits money and so on. All this information is stored in database. And fourth application is universities and colleges. Nowadays many colleges and universities are using database management system. Universities and colleges stores various information in database by using database management system. They will store information like student name, student details, student fee structure, student course and also faculty information, faculty salary, marks and grades of all students and so on. All this information is stored in universities and college databases. And fifth application is credit card transactions. Like how many items you purchased by using credit card. All this information is stored in database. And this credit card information is secured. No one can hack this credit card information. Seventh application is finance. Nowadays many of them are investing money in finance. All this information is stored in database. And next one is military. We also use database management system in military. In order to manage military database. Military database contains information regarding soldiers like how many soldiers are working, their names and so on. This military database also contains information regarding various military assets like how many aircrafts, how many military vehicles available and how many weapons are available. All this information is stored in military database. This database also contains information regarding our country's security. And next application is online shopping. Nowadays many of them are purchasing products online. For example, I purchased one product in Amazon. Now whenever I purchase product in Amazon, all my information is stored in database like my name, what type of product I purchased and purchase date, all this information is stored in database. And 10th application is human resource management. Nowadays in each and every company we are storing employee details like employee name, employee joining date, employee salary, employee tax and so on. All this information is stored in database. Next one is manufacturing. Even in manufacturing companies we use database management system software in order to manage database. Manufacturing company database contains various information regarding products which they are manufacturing. For example, if you consider one company is manufacturing soap. So it will contain all details regarding the soap product. Like how many soaps they are manufacturing daily and various chemicals that they are using in order to manufacture soap. Daily how many supplies are going on. All this information is stored in manufacturing database. And next one is airline reservation system. It is same like railway reservation system. Airline reservation system contains information regarding airway passengers. Like person who purchased a ticket, his name, at what time he purchased the ticket. And this airline reservation system also contains information regarding flights. Like at what time flight will arrive, at what time flight will start and any flight delay status. All this information is stored in airline database. So we also use database management system software in airline. All these are various applications of database management system. Applications of database management system is nothing but in various fields we use database management system software in order to manage database. 